Fallout 3 and New Vegas are well known for their combat gameplay. Not because it's so good, but rather because it's so bad. Aiming is impossible, shooting is inconsistent, movement is slippery, NPCs have ridiculous accuracy, and those of us who like to play with melee and unarmed builds, let's be honest, it's boring. For all these reasons, combat in Fallen of Vegas can be such a frustrating experience. But in this video, I'm gonna attempt to fix each of these issues and make Fallen of Vegas' combat less janky, or at least more enjoyable. Let's start this off with a bang. Lead Bullet Ballistics will exchange Fallout's hitscan for bullet projectiles with bullet drop and velocity. There are two variants of this mod, one has faster bullets and the other has slower ones. In this showcase, I'm using the latter as I've had the best results in gunfights accuracy-wise, and that's probably because my hardcore gamer brain wants me to shoot where the enemies are going, not where they actually are. All types of ammo have different velocities and distance drops. So sniping with the 308 ammo you'll have to account for considerable bullet drop and travel time. But with the anti-material rifle which fires 50 caliber rounds it'll be much easier to get your shots on target. This'll make you think more strategically when approaching combat. Are you better at sniping enemies from afar with your rusty hunting rifle? Or going in guns blazing with a 12.7 SMG. So it adds an extra layer of role playing too because you'll have to play to your strengths. I found combat to be so much more fun and balanced with this. Gunfights go on for longer and NPCs no longer have insane accuracy like they did in vanilla because they also shoot projectiles now. The only issue I found in this version of the mod is that the 50 caliber projectile doesn't travel and instead sticks to the tip of the AMR's barrel then disappears after the shot has landed. But as far as I know the bullet ballistics still apply to the 50 caliber ammo. I'm also also gonna use enhanced bullet impacts to help make it more obvious where my shots have landed. Besides, the exaggerated impact visual effects are awesome and make gunfights feel more exciting. Now, to get the most out of this mod, we must pair it up with increased bullet impact LOD, which will make the puffs from the impacts show at longer ranges. As a sniper, you will have much better feedback now where your shots have landed so you can adjust your aim. In Vanilla New Vegas, you would only be able to tell if a gunfight took place at a certain location from the bodies of fallen participants. But with permanent weapon shells, you'll now be able to see what type of weapons were used in the firefight, cause this mod will make ejected bullet casings last forever until you restart the game. And it's only right we use this in tandem with the next mod to know exactly what gun was used. Fallout New Vegas combat gets more realistic and immersive with B42 drop mag and one in the chamber. With this mod, upon reload, you'll actually visually drop a magazine which makes the game more immersive. Whether or not the mag has the leftover ammo in it, which is also visually represented, depends on your settings in the MCM. If it does, you will actually be able to recollect it. Realistically, you will also still have one round in the chamber if you do a tactical reload. This is so immersive that you will find yourself looking down in awe during combat, like you've never seen a mag drop before. And this works on NPCs too by the way, so you'll also be in awe as they reload and then drop a mag too. When a mag hits the floor, it'll make a sound. Furthermore, the mag drop will change depending on what magazine attachment you have on. This mod combo will allow you to feel the aftermath of your combat altercations. And I know what you're thinking, but mutant mods, my frame rate, my performance. Well, I'm basically drowning in bullet shells and magazines here, but I was still able to maintain 120 frames per second, so I don't think performance is gonna be an issue here. That's immersive as fu- Now let's move on to animations. So, first things first, let's grab FNV clean animations to fix and replace the vanilla weapons animations without changing their balance. This mod fixes a few issues that are present in the vanilla game like reload cancelling and clipping. It'll also replace the reload animations with much smoother and better looking ones that really fit the style of the game, unlike other mods that turn the game into Call of Duty. All this while keeping the vanilla reload times so that the game's balance remains the same. Rockbiter 68's Rock Emotion will make whatever weapon you're holding react to your movement by adding lock emotion animations and all those animations are gonna be affected by whether you're crippled or not. After using this mod for a while you'll see just how inelastic the game's vanilla animations are. Alright so now your guns bop as you move but they're still motionless as you look around and that's where B42 weapon inertia comes in. This mod is self-explanatory it'll add weapon inertia to the game and this combined with lock emotion makes gunplay feel a lot smoother. Now let's take care of animations for when you actually start shooting. Hip firing does have animations in the base game but they're often 
oftentimes out of sync with the fire rate and sounds of the gun, so they just look awkward. That's why we need view model recoil to make the recoil effect look way better. Guns will actually kick and shake instead of just moving back and forth like a fucking machine. Let's move on to aiming and iron sights. Going from the idle animations to aiming down sights is a sharp transition that is almost instantaneous. It's quite jarring. To patch up the transition to aiming, we need Smooth Iron Sights Camera. This mod smoothly blends the camera position to the Iron Sights node, instead of snapping it into place when aiming. If you spend most of your time playing the game in third person, I highly recommend Aim View Switcher. With this mod, if you aim in third person, your view will switch to first person through Iron Sights. Next, Hitman's Iron Sights recoil animations will add some kick to shooting while aiming. It always bothered me in Fallen New Vegas how weapons show no reaction to firing while aiming down sights. So this is an essential mod for me. Another thing that bothers me a lot in Fallout games is how aiming down sights with a scope is handled. The screen just fades into a scope texture overlay. And the most vanilla friendly way to overhaul scoping in Fallout New Vegas is to use see-through scopes pack. This mod fixes this issue by replacing vanilla scopes with its own. They all fit in New Vegas aesthetically and they work with the locomotion and aim recoil mods that were previously mentioned. I should note that I had a few issues with this mod. The varmint rifle has night vision even without a night vision scope. There's also an issue with the hunting rifle scope not zooming in. And it seems those aren't incompatibility issues, rather just oversights within the mod itself. So I fixed those myself in FNV edit and uploaded the ESP on Nexus. There's also a minor incompatibility with the iron sight recoil mod that ruins the hunting rifle's iron sights. I fixed this by deleting just this one mesh file from the scopes pack folder. One more thing, the laser rifle kicks to the left after firing while aiming. I couldn't figure out what was causing this issue, but it's not that big of a deal to me. If you're no longer interested in this mod due to the issues that I mentioned, there's a similar mod in development called New Vegas True Scopes. I'll leave a link in the description for you to go show your support for the author. Anyways, let's move on to vanilla iron sights which aren't any better either. Most of them being misaligned which plays a major role in players missing their shots especially at longer ranges. The mod Vanilla Iron Sights Realigned will solve this problem with the help of IS Control Enabler. I'm also under the impression that this mod removes auto-aim from the game, so that your shots land where you're aiming. And now finally, energy weapons in the vanilla game weren't given iron sights, and that made using them unappealing to me. Which is a shame because the Mojave is home to some of the coolest energy weapons in the franchise. Luckily, Laser Weapon Iron Sights grants plasma and laser weapons in the game iron sights, so that we could finally actually aim with those guns. There's one incompatible issue for the laser rifle with the see-through scope spec. So you either use the laser iron sights or scope spec, but you can definitely use the plasma weapons iron sights plugin with the scope spec with no issues. Lastly in this section, let's use ADS and jump impact SFX to make weapon handling more immersive by adding sound effects to aiming down sights. Alright, now let's move on to the next section. First of all, let's make first person player movement much more accurate especially for those of us playing on keyboard by using walking inertia. This mod adds a speed curve when you start moving. This is a feature that is present in a lot of modern first person shooter games. Then to take care of third person movement jank, I'm gonna use diagonal movement alongside 360 movement. Those two mods together are gonna make third person movement a lot smoother. You're gonna see a massive improvement especially if you're using a controller. Next, jam or just assorted mods will add several quality of life features to New Vegas. But we're only gonna need to use four of them. Dynamic crosshair will aid in our accuracy when hip firing. The weapon wheel will make it faster for us to equip hotkeyed weapons. Loot menu will make looting faster and less tedious and vanilla sprint so that we could get behind cover and get to advantageous positions quicker in combat. Then let's also use the mod JIP Selective Fire. With this mod, on some weapons you're gonna be able to switch from automatic fire to semi-automatic and burst fire. This is an essential mod for me because in combat, different situations require different firing modes. Let's say for example you're using an automatic weapon but your opponents are much further away from you. 
you're gonna wanna switch to burst or semi-automatic fire because using an automatic weapon at this range is a bad strategy because you're gonna be wasting a lot of ammo. Next, B42 Melee Bash. I don't think this mod needs any explaining, the demonstration does a pretty good job of that. FPS Leaning is quite simply a mod that allows you to peek in and out of corners by leaning left or right. Although what this mod does sounds really simple and straightforward, the mod author took great care to make sure this is as compatible as possible with other mods. And finally, here are some Stewie AI tweaks that I use to make movement during combat a lot less janky. Now let's touch up on NPCs because that's what you're gonna be using as target practice for most of the time. In Fallout, have you ever wanted to shoot a raider in the nuts and watch them actually react to it? Well, with this mod you finally can. Ragdolls is a Fallout New Vegas mod that makes combat resolution a lot more satisfying by making ragdolls more reactive upon death. Let's take a look at his features, starting with hit reactions, which will cause NPCs and creatures to flinch when getting hit. It's a subtle effect, but it's definitely noticeable. This was a broken feature of the vanilla game, and Mad Ace did a great job of re-implementing it. Next, we have Locational Force, which applies force to whichever part of the body you dealt the killing blow. Here's a demonstration. Without this feature, NPCs will always be pushed the same way on death. With this feature, the ragdoll will react to where you dealt the final hit and be pushed accordingly. This also applies to melee and unarmed weapons. I call that the Scorpion Punch. There's another sting to add to Nobark's list, and maybe this one will bring him back to his senses. Then there's complex death reactions. It makes NPCs react to where they've been shot before going limp. You'll notice them place their hand where they've been shot, like their head, arm, or even ass. And as mentioned at the intro, their dick. Killing NPCs with fire causes them to flail their arms and legs. Electrocuting them causes them to vibrate on the ground and blowing them up sends them flying whilst flailing their limbs. There are some more options in the MCM menu making this mod very configurable. Ragdolls will take care of NPC hits and death reactions, but not their animations, and it would work perfectly in tandem with Awesome Staggering. This mod will replace the vanilla cripple animations with new, more expressive and entertaining stagger animations. It makes more sense for someone to fall to the ground when receiving a critical shot to the head, than to act like they have a headache. But mutants, how is this vanilla friendly? Well, the animations may have changed, but their duration stays the same, so essentially this has absolutely no effect on gameplay and will only enhance your combat experience cosmetically. To have exciting combat encounters, we also need to have formidable enemies. So with the following combination of mods, we'll add more variety and challenge the firefights in the Mojave without changing the core gameplay of New Vegas. Martialize is a mod that will allow NPCs to kick you and bash you when you're too close for comfort. Why should you be the only one that can do that, right? NPCs use aid items will allow your opposition to also use chems in their inventory to their advantage. And finally, NPCs use gun mods and ammo variants will make NPCs around the Mojave Wasteland have customized weaponry. Your enemies may also use armor piercing rounds or hollow point rounds, or any of the ammo variants. Let's move on to the next section and touch up on melee and unarmed combat. Melee combat in Fallen New Vegas always felt too slippery and is oftentimes boring in my opinion, but thanks to the modding community, with a few mods, melee and unarmed builds can turn into the most fun ways to play in New Vegas. First, let's grab melee hit stop effects to add some weight behind melee attacks to make it actually feel like you landed a hit. The mod achieves this effect by slowing the game time for a few frames when you connect with your attack. Then we need melee vats animation restoration to bring back melee attack animations specific to vats that were previously unused. These animations include two kicking animations for when your opponent is down. Usually they trigger when enemies are crouched and if you have awesome staggering installed, some cripple animations will have NPCs get on the ground and that also triggers kicking in vats. Next, unarmed animations will change the first person knuckle weapons animations. Then let's head to Rockbiter 68's profile to grab Butcher Pete parts 1 and 2. These two animation mods will reanimate most one handed sharp melee weapons. Finally, we need Sagarius' Sigma melee animations. His animations will touch up on a lot of two handed melee weapons in the game. With Ragdoll's awesome staggering and the previously mentioned mods, unarmed combat will become especially satisfying. 
B42 weapon inspect will allow us to check how much ammo we've got left in a magazine and whether or not our gun is in good condition. This is especially useful for me because I like to play without the HUD. Another mod I like to use when I'm not using the HUD in New Vegas is PHWHP and AP Visuals. This mod adds a bloody frame to the screen that gradually appears as your HP goes down, and you can customize at what percentage of health the effect takes place. Most of the world objects in Fallen New Vegas have way bigger collision meshes than they're supposed to. This is a massive problem, because in combat, your shots will be stopped by these invisible see-through meshes. Thankfully, Mad Ace came through with a mod simply named Collision Meshes. This mod will give many objects much more precise collision meshes, so in combat, lots of lines of sight will now be cleared for your bullets to hit the target. Finally, let's grab combat, lag fix, and consistent spread. This is Sparta!